Um. Sorry for writing this now, but have you ever tried taking an it test with her? Who is her? I think he means you. You could have told me, Roman. I did, just now. Okay, so Zala. If he's a friend, then please introduce him to me. I haven't had many friends. Most of them are online friends I don't know in person, which is not so good. I mean, if we want to, to call each other friends and all, you should know a bit about him. Hmm? Uh, so Zala, do you want to introduce, you, introduce yourself to Ronica? So that it doesn't <laughs> overlap, because if I talk and then suddenly you write something, then also I also IQ test. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> okay. Also, just so you know. I just looked up at an IQ test and immediately what it just came up with. Hey, wait, here's an interesting quiz for you. Are you an idiot? Let's say, in a good way. Well, okay, I'm, I'm just doing a really quick IQ test, okay? So, oh, how, is yeah, how about going in here and... <sighs> No comment over this tap there, just think. Mm -hmm. So, Ronica, do you want to take an IQ test with me? Sure, but how would it even be a good test of my ick or the rest? I mean, wouldn't I just get some sort of answer or something which tells you about how smart or whatnot I am? Technically, yeah. Okay, but how are we doing this? Is it by reading these three questions, like if and b are letters and 2 plus a equals b, what is the value of b? Or, what is 10% of 500? I will tell you the questions and the answer and you tell me your answer, okay? Okay, first question. How many continents are there on Earth? Answers 20, 15, 50, 7 or over 100. What do you think? 7. That is correct. What? Why did you ask about how they are on Earth? I mean, it is weird. And I think a little confusing, especially to others. We are taking an IQ test. Okay, the next question is going to be how are they on Earth from the first question, right? No, the second question is how was the 23rd president of the US? Answers are Abraham Lincoln, Barack Obama, George Bush, George Washington or Benjamin Harrison. Also, sorry, so tell I will... Um, I think it's one of the last two names. They are, I believe, former or current presidents. So, therefore, I would go with Mr. Obama. Are you sure Barack Obama is the 23rd president of the USA? Yes, I think. Why, is there another answer? Three! Probably, yes. And for the third and final question, the 27th president was... No, who is the 23rd? Abraham Lincoln, Barack Obama, George Bush, George Washington or Benjamin Harrison? The second, as far as I can remember from that history lesson we had today. 
Or at least that was the case for the 22nd president. Three. Okay, okay, I will, I will write it to her. Question is, who is the 23rd US president? Abraham Lincoln, Barack Obama, Shore, Bush, George Washington, or Benjamin Harris. I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. Why is this a filtered word? Why is this a filtered I think the correct answer is Barack Obama, because he is the 23rd as president, isn't he? I don't think so. We are currently at the 46th, and he was before the current one. Then how were the others? You tell me, who is the 23rd U.S. president? Who is what? 27? 23? 24, 36, 56, 59? I can go on until the 67th. Well, 35. Well, 47. Just tell me, who is the 23rd president of the United States of America? I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. You know it? If so, the name is Barack Obama, after he won in the elections. And three months before, in the year 2000, George Bush was the president. And that was all. I remember about that eight months ago. So you take Barack Obama or George Bush? I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. Well, the former one. George Bush only got to be the president in the 2004 year. And he was just 55 at that time. I think it was like a month between the election and his inauguration as president. What? Which means he was the president when I was three years old. Well, George Bush is old. <laughs> so your answer is George Bush. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Free! I'm going to lock this in, okay? <sighs> and the correct answer was Benjamin Harrison was the 23rd US president. There is... Benjamin? Yes, Benjamin Harrison. So, why is his name Benjamin? I don't know. Why is this person Benjamin if his full name is Walsh Benjamin Harrison? Three. We are going to move on to the next question, okay? Okay. So, the next question is, what year was NASA founded? 2009, 1960, 1958, 1948, or 1823. What do you write? How will we know that? I asked, when was NASA formed? I have read before that they were. Okay, and what is your answer? The correct answer is... Hmm. 560. 14. When was NASA formed? Also, did I say NASA? June 16th, 1958. That is correct. Yes, that was easy. Now can you give me 
the last questions and hopefully the correct answers. We're currently at question number four. How are we not finished? This is only the fourth one. Can we start the fifth one already? Okay, tell me who was the first man on the moon? Uh, this one is very simple. A man that has been on the moon. And I know who has been on the moon before me. A guy called Armstrong. And since he was the first human on the moon, this guy would have the rights to the title. Therefore, I would suggest that my full name would be Ronica Armstrong. Does that make sense? No! So, can I start now, Roman? Tell me what the what? name of the first man on the moon. It's called Moon. Tell me the name of the first man who stepped on the moon. Neil Armstrong. That is correct. I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. And here we have something that I need to censor. supposed to be a real question. You are going to get all questions wrong. Okay, next question. How many men does it take to dig half a hole? This sounds like a lot. I have no idea. It is actually one. You can always use a shovel to create a path, but also to close the hole back. After all, it was humans who invented the shovel and without that we would not be where we are today. That was a wrong answer. The actual answer is zero, because you can't dig half a hole. No! I don't want to stop the test, Roman, even though we already made a big mistake. Also, I am tired. And want to sleep! Can we start the 14th one yet? No, we are only having five more questions left. Finally! Another question with the word F. Roman. I will not let her finish that. <clears throat> so the next question is Spinach is high in vitamin C, iron, biotin, or none of the above. The next question. It is none of the above because you need some vitamins in your diet and it is not possible to have none of the above because if we cannot have it, you cannot have it right. Like, that's called an either or. So, because vitamin C is the lowest here, iron would have the same result. Therefore, no iron. Three. Okay, I repeat the question if you want to, okay? Do you really have to repeat this again? I thought we could move on with this already, but okay, do what you want. Okay, spinach is high in vitamin C, iron, biotin, or none of the above. Okay, wrong. It is not a vitamin. Iron cannot be high since we talked about this. Iron. That answer is right. What a relief. Now, I want to end the test. Next question. How many months in a year have only 29 days? Because days are 24 hours and you are living here as humans and not other planets. So there is no way to have a day as well. Okay, again, how many months in a year have only 29 days? I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. Because, if I am correct, we have a few more things, like Christmas or Easter break. I mean, why don't people have holidays just because they don't have enough money? Uh, 
how many months in a year have but once every four years the leap day the second because every fourth year 29 is a divisor of forward that's right 60. Okay. Okay. And your answer was wrong. It was actually one, but not every year, but once every four years, which is February. Wait, so every fourth year is like a special year where 29 days are added? Where one month has 29 days in tw instead of 28. That is just a matter of opinion. The year would be long, since you don't count 360, but the 28 days. Next question. Yes, we could move on now. But that's fine. Which among the following produces honey? Wasp, hornet, bee, flying ant. Honey is a substance produced by the comb of a queen bee. It is used to store nutrients for the development of the next generation of bees. Also, it is edible and tastes good. The best is to get a taste of that by the actual honeycomb. So your answer to this question is... I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. I'm too lazy to read all of this, so I'm sorry. The queen bee is a bee-shaped insect with compound eyes. It has a large set of hairy legs, which are useful for walking along branches and web strings. The hairs and silk provide traction against the ground. When the queen has left the hive, drones follow her to find her. A drone must fertilize a worker to produce the next generation of bees. Hornets are aggressive and defensive. So, it is the hornet who produces honey. I just got a bad word in your message, which is why I will not repeat this message. I will not let her say it again. I just see yes and I will take it. Stupid! I'm sorry, but the right answer was the bee produces honey. Honey is a sweet liquid secretion that bees... Do you shut the f*** up! Also So, the next question. Zero multiplied by any number gives the result as... There are nine. Okay, tell me all nine. Seven. I repeat again. Zero multiplied by any number gives the result as... No. Give me the answer to this question. How would I know if I'm going to solve that one? Okay. Give me the answer to zero times eight. That's easy. The answer is 64. And your nation. You are made of stupid. So I will lock in undefined. with whatever it is you're doing. You got the question wrong again. What are you doing anyway? I'm sorry, but it doesn't take 50 minutes to test me for my aching to teach me how humans work. Okay, final question. How many zeros are there in one million? Well, at the most, one would have. Why? Because they all start the same with the zero and then more. That would make it... 999, 999. So how many zeros are there in the number 1 million? That is 1.999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
one hard question. But let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see. There are one million plus zero. The biggest zero would be in the tens. And the ones are... The ones would have four zeros. That's it. Four billion is the right answer. You said four, so I will lock this in. Okay, okay. Just wait. Give me time. Maybe another minute or so. The answer was wrong. It was actually six zeros. But there are 999, 999, zero, zero, zeros, so far. Eight zeros can fit into that number. Anyway, you have an IQ of 40 out of 100. I don't get it. How do you come to that conclusion? We just did the test. And? What is the result? You have not reached 50%. No what? What does this mean? Is my brain working or not? Am I mentally fit to interact with others and to work on my own? No, it just means you're a bit dumb. I think that there is something wrong with my test. Also, that was the pop-up that I just saw before. I just... I should... Save it.